yo what is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today we will be ranking every single call of duty zombies perk from worst to best you guys really seem to love these ranking videos and i love making them to be honest because they're super easy and they're super fun to make i do want to preface something before we start the video um we will not be including black ops 4 perks or cold war perks in this video the only sole reason for that is the black ops 4 and cold war system are very different and not normal from the original perk system with cold war they had upgrades and bo4 had the modifier slot so it really is like weird to put them in with a, like like speed cola so if you guys want me to do a video on black ops 4 cold war perks in the future just let me know and i will gladly do it but without further ado we have 14 perks to rank so let's get started all right coming in at our number 14 spot we have tombstone soda now this is just the worst perk of all time so essentially if you don't know what tombstone does is when you buy this perk it costs 2,000 points you purchase it and it gives you the option when you go down to just bleed out essentially and once you do bleed out you leave a tombstone behind with all of your weapons and your perks that doesn't include tombstone but the problem with this perk is that when you die you are leaving the rest of your teammates to finish the round without you so if you die somewhere in the start of the round or mid round you are leaving them with an extra horde of zombies that they really don't have to deal with that you could have dealt with yourself if you weren't selfish the best way to describe this perk is it's selfish and i don't like it it's coming in at the worst perk of all time coming in at our number 13 spot we have who's who a surprise to absolutely nobody to show up here who's who is one of the worst perks and is a close second to tombstone once again this perk costs 2,000 points and what it does is it's like quick revive right but when you go down you aren't instantly revived like you are with quick revive instead you are tasked to revive yourself with a starting pistol doing this task on any round past round 25 is almost impossible for the average player unless you're like the greatest zombies player of all time you are not going to be able to get yourself up with all your perks and everything with the starting pistol now i'm not gonna lie if who's who was to show up on a better map not die rise i believe it could actually be significantly better but the fact that it shows up on die rise one of the hardest maps to traverse it just makes the perk seem lackluster now can you see a trend here both of these perks in the bottom spots incentivize death any perk that encourages you to die is obviously going to be at the bottom why would you pick up this perk when you could just get something that would help you from dying in the first place at the number 12 spot we have double tap now not to get confused with its much superior older brother this is the original double tap that we see in world at war in black ops 1 the only thing that this perk does is it increases your fire rate for a price point of 2000 points your weapon will increase in fire rate and that's about it now yes this can be useful for certain weapons such as the hk and the browning but with other weapons like the ak or the pp or the aug this thing is just going to waste your ammo instantly fast now yes a higher fire rate technically means it kills faster but this is a multiplayer okay this is not multiplayer so we don't need to be killing the zombies as fast we want that damage right and in my opinion double tap should have always been the double tap 2.0 version hence why it is all the way at the bottom of this list now a perk that actually helps you number 11 deadshot daiquiri for the low price point of 1500 points you can acquire yourself the ability to aim at any of the zombies heads whenever you want this perk automatically aims to the head and increases your hip fire accuracy and it's honestly not that bad the problem is is the four perk limit that you are restricted to in most of these games kind of restricts you from buying deadshot all the time because there are just those perks that are better than deadshot that make it kind of an outcast prime example on mob of the dead you got juggernaut double tap speed cola cherry and deadshot right 
Obviously, nobody's going to pick Deadshot because you've got Cherry, Jug, Double Tap, and Speed Cola. Nobody ever picks Deadshot because it's just kind of an outcast. Like, I would love to have you, Deadshot, but you just can't because there's only a four perk limit. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have Mule Kick. Now, once again, Mule Kick is a pretty good perk, and it allows you to get a third weapon, which does sound pretty good. And although it's 4,000 points, you're probably thinking, wow, a third weapon, that just means more damage to the zombies, right? Well, not exactly. Let's just say you spend the 4,000 to get this perk, and you buy a wall weapon or something that's like 1,250 points, and then you pack a punch that wall weapon maybe double pack a punch it if you're in black ops 3 and then you go down you lose mule kick as well as that third weapon that you spent so much points you on you are devastated and you want to quit the game <laughs> Trust me, I have been in this situation one too many times and it is not pleasant. Plus, switching between three weapons instead of two is kind of annoying and with Mule Kick, you have to do that. All in all, not a terrible perk, but something that people don't pick up too often. One of the most overrated perks in Call of Duty Zombies, number nine, Electric Cherry. Now, don't get me wrong, this is one of my favorite perks too, but it is absolutely overrated. For the price point of 2000 points you have the ability to be zeus when you reload you send out electricity out of your hands or something and then it just stuns all the zombies around you even killing them if you're like maybe on round five now yes it's pretty good but it's not all that maybe if it killed zombies like deadwire it would be a lot higher up on the list but really all it's doing is stunning the zombies for a second or two so it's not one of the greatest perks of all time but it is still pretty far up here and it has its situational uses where it can actually be pretty decent. At our number eight spot, we have Vulture's Aid Elixir. Now this is a very unique perk in the sense that it does not have one specific use. In fact, it has three. And for the price point of 3000 points, you are essentially getting one ability for every 1000 points that you spend. First, you get the ability to see through walls and what I I mean by that is you can see perks you can see pack a punch you can see wall guns you can see the box you can see whatever number two is it drops points and ammo on the ground now it's not really all that much it's probably going to be only about 20 or 10 points and with the ammo it's only going to be about three or four bullets so it's not the most useful thing in the world but it's still nice to have it there occasionally when you're running low on ammo and finally arguably the most useful part of the perk is some zombies will come with a green smoke or a green aroma around them and when you kill them they will drop that smoke and you if you stand inside of it you will be invincible from the zombies they can't see you vulture's aid is a very useful perk especially when you're going for around 100 on buried and it is a shame that it has only showed up on buried once again another extremely overrated perk Number seven, we have PhD Flopper. Now, whoa, I know you're gonna pull out the pitchforks and the torches and you're gonna like burn me at the stake. I know PhD really isn't one of the greatest perks of all time. PhD is absolutely amazing with explosive weapons and in situational situations. For the price point of 2000 points, you get the ability to negate fall damage and explosive damage you also have the ability to dolphin dive off of higher surfaces to create an explosion when you land now it is unfortunate that this perk has only featured in black ops 1 and origins in black ops 2 and it did come back in cold war and it just really wasn't the same all in all phd is a very good perk and obviously you're gonna take it anytime you get the chance now this was a little bit complicated to to put on the list but number six we have quick revive now this is one of the only perks that changes its ability when you are in solo or when you are in co-op the co-op ability obviously being the lesser ability all it does is it allows you to revive your teammates faster which is kind of useful if you want to be that medic kind of guy on your team but in any other situation it's just kind of a waste of a perk slot and all you're really doing is helping out your terrible teammates but on the other side of the spectrum we have 
the solo version and the solo version allows you to revive yourself when you go down and unlike other perks <coughs> this perk doesn't require you to go to narnia and back to revive yourself for the lowest price purchase of all of the perks in call of duty zombies for 500 points you can get yourself a self-revive and obviously that's going to be one of the best perks ever because without quick revive most people aren't even going to make it to like round 30 without downing once so quick revive a very good perk and it has a very low price point for those who don't have the funds coming in at number five we have my favorite perk of all time stamina up soda now there is no gimmick to this perk all it allows you to do is run faster and to be honest in video games if you move slow that's just annoying to me i hate moving slow in video games especially first person shooter games so if i can get the opportunity to purchase a perk that will make me run faster i will always gladly take it stamina up is awesome for training zombies and honestly it is one of the best perks to get out of a sticky situation however there are just a couple more perks ahead that outclass it and it's slightly unfortunate because stamina up really is a great perk but it is coming in at number five coming in at the number four spot we have speed cola very similar to stamina up you do get faster in some aspect of your character and with this one you get to reload faster with the price point of 3,000 points you get the ability to reload significantly faster this is obviously one of the best perks it was introduced all the way back in world at war varux having it be one of the best perks even in this day and age is still amazing it is a very simple concept for a perk and it just works so well in zombies it also has that other ability where you can rebuild barriers as fast but nobody really knows about that and that's not why it's here <laughs> anyways speed cola number four cracking the top three number three we have double tap two not to get confused with the one that we had all the way down in like 12 double tap two is significantly better than double tap one let me explain double tap one simply increases your fire rate by like 33 percent or something like that double tap two keeps that ability but it also has double the damage essentially for every one bullet you're firing you are firing two which makes this perk so amazing the only reason this perk isn't any higher up than it is already is because it only applies to bullet weapons wonder weapons don't get like double the damage when you buy double tap but this perk is still absolutely amazing and one of the best we have ever seen in cod zombies at our number two spot we have one of the most recent perks uh, well not really but widow's wine once again just like mule kick for a hefty price of four thousand points you get the ability to become spider-man when you purchase this perk your grenades are replaced with widow's wine grenades and essentially what this does is when you get hit by a zombie you will excrete this web-like substance onto the zombies and they will be stuck in place for a couple seconds giving you the opportunity to skedaddle away and do whatever you want i cannot explain to you how much this perk has saved me in multiple situations it is such a good perk and honestly it is this close to being number one but I think we all know what that number one spot is. Coming in at the number one spot, a surprise to absolutely nobody, we have Juggernog. For the price point of 2,500 points, you get the ability to take an extra hit. This perk increases your health, and obviously any perk that lets you take more hits from the zombies is going to be amazing i genuinely think juggernaut is the most bought perk in call of duty zombies history uh if you're ever playing call of duty zombies 
you cannot tell me one time where you didn't decide to purchase Juggernaut. It is simply that iconic, and it would be a shame if it wasn't all the way up here on the list. But that's it. If you guys did enjoy this ranking video, please let me know in the comments below. Do you disagree with me or anything about that? We can talk about it down there. Just a reminder, if you guys want me to make the Black Ops 4 or Cold War perks video, I will gladly do that for you guys. Just let me know if you guys want that but uh yeah with that said i will see you guys in the next one peace yeah because i got it like that flow so smooth like i got it on tap yeah and i'ma say it be a good night while i'm on my yingling while i'm drinking bud light uh can you get it when you miss me